All right, so on today's home flipping adventure, I've been tearing off aluminum siding all day. Look what I've been doing. That's what I do, I do a lot of manual. Anybody that believes that, I've got a bridge <laughs> in Brooklyn to sell you. We are here at a house, uh, if you remember this house, we're at a midway point right now. Yep. Corona has just, uh, the coronavirus restrictions have just been lifted for contractors. So now we can, you look very pretty today. Well, so now, now we can get back to work. I'm trying to get some credit if I can, the street, never mind. So, um, but we're coming back here to see how we're doing in this house. Amber made some massive transformation in this house, and we've got some issues we have to look at with the kitchen size and yeah. some things that you're doing here. So we got to really make that. And we also just saw a woodchuck. Oh, look at that, a little groundhog, huh? Very cool. All right, that's our little friend. He popped his head out. So where? Well, went back down. Oh, you didn't see him? No. All right, well. Watch the footage. It's pretty cool though. Look at these grapevines. The neighbor, well, they, they the neighbor. They used to make wine. Yeah, they're all over here too. Look, here, the, the, here are the tubes. They used to make wines. Okay. The oh. neighbor asked us if we were gonna take these down and I said, no, you know, they're they're very mature and you know, we're here in the middle of Rotterdam. So there's a lot of Italians in this yeah, area. Love Somebody might some love wine. them. And you know, even if you don't make wine, they're really pretty. If we have some before footage, I'd like to show we had, there are lots of garages back here and it was really a mess. There was yeah, just a was lot a of disaster. stuff going on. So now we tore all that out. This house is actually on a double lot. Let's go check out the inside because we have, there's a lot. This is Amber's done so much to the inside. We are not done. As you can see, we are mid construction. Like I said, I've been tearing off this aluminum siding all day. I'm very tired from that. That's how yeah. I dress when I. Uh -huh. No, I'm kidding. Wow, making lots of progress here, aren't we? This house was super choppy before. So if you remember correctly, there was a picture on this wall of my brother. I came up at the house. There was a picture yeah. of my brother at a hunting camp with the owner and uh, it was his family, and that was right on this wall here. That wall is not here anymore, so we had some before, that would be cool to show it's that. It's important for you guys to let people around you know that you flip houses, because you get deals that way. Yeah, you do. So the family so, yeah, knows what we do. This house was super choppy before. This was like a dining room, but it was a solid wall, and it was kind of closed off, and there was a door here that went to the upstairs. So I took part of that wall off, and then we're just gonna put a little railing there to make it feel like it's part of the house instead of like, oh, there's this attic that you're going up to a bedroom. I, I want it to feel very... The attic was just an attic before. That's, that's, Correct. that's where I had the deer head. So we'll go up there in a minute and check it. It's gonna be hot, so we'll do that last. So, okay. So, so what, the this, problem here is what? So the kitchen was here before, but there was a bathroom right here. Right there. We took the bathroom out, because number one, who wants a bathroom off the kitchen? Yep. That way we could open this up to the living room, but we also opened up the front porch to make this like this really grand room when you first walk in, and I love the way this is feeling. We're gonna carry the floors all the way throughout this area, and the living room, and the kitchen. So. Uh, the problem is, now we have this really long, living room and it's really narrow and the wall was right here. So what? So this room over here, I love that you opened it up, but what is it? Like it's a cool room. It's ju just, just gonna be like an open foyer. This was the porch before. It was the porch before. You walked in. And so this was a solid wall right here and then there was a door that opened up in the living room. And it's not like super functional because we do have the two walls on either side. It's, so it's not like, it's not like you could necessarily make this part of your living room and the ceiling's different and there were a lot of oddities to it, yep. but you know, somebody could use this just as an extra like, you know, little sunroom, could have put a couple chairs out here home or office. a home office. Home office are big nowadays with everybody working from home. Something like that, that but it, it, it still makes this feel a lot bigger. And then I'm gonna stain that black. It's gonna look really cool. Okay. Um, so when I walked in here the other day though, this living room felt like super long and narrow. So I actually met Neil over here, the project manager, and had him, the wall was right here. I thought so, okay. And I had him bump it back to here. So okay. that, that makes the living room area feel a lot bigger, like like three, four feet bigger, wider. And, and for furniture placement, it's gonna be a lot better. Plus, the kitchen was really big, like huge for this house. And I'm trying to save some money. So by moving this wall back, I spend less on countertops, I spend less on cabinets. Still a very functional open oh, kitchen. Oh, super. There's still plenty of room here. So we're, now you, you're worried about where the TV's gonna go before. Did you make right. up for that? Yeah, now they can put the TV here. There's enough room to put a couch, two side chairs, or a sectional, or whatever. And then we moved the bathroom over here. Because we, oh, okay. we still have two bedrooms on this floor. It's a full bath. It's a full bath. Okay. Wow, okay. So this area could also be like a little office space, or you could put a piano here, or something So like you that. had this out here. It and was you picked here. up three feet. It was flush with. It was flush with this wall. Yeah. And you picked up three feet. Yeah. Okay. That was a really good. 
That was a good I, move. I'm glad I came in at that point. So it saves money and gives more living space. Right. And it makes it feel like it's not just a long, it makes it feel like this is a living room and that's kind of the dining room or something or? No, the dining room is over there. Oh, that's a separate room. Okay. Right. All right. This could be very, this is so very different. Very open. Before, well, this was so different. It was, this was choppy. There was a, whole, it was a hallway choppy. here. This was a bedroom. Then there was a bathroom in the middle of the this kitchen and the living a, room. Kind of a small living room. Small living room. And the upstairs was pure attic. Right. And you turned that into a master suite. Right. Well, let's, let's go, go see, that. see the rough construction on that and see how we're coming together with that. Because if you can, by adding that, we've added a whole new level of. Um, living space, square footage, yeah. everything. You know, at, we love converting attics into master suites or bedrooms because you've already got the roof, you've already got the floor. You need to add, you know, electrical. There's a pipe. The pipe, the pipe, <laughs> a pipe moving. Randomly moving over there. Um, All right, so. <laughs> they must be in the basement. The guys are working down there. So you've already got roof, you've already got flooring. You know, you need to add maybe a subfloor, maybe not. You need to add insulation, electrical heat and air conditioning and maybe a bathroom, so plumbing. It's not that expensive to take that existing area and turn it into usable square footage for the house. So how many, so there's two bedrooms down, right? We have a bedroom here, a bedroom down. here. Let's go upstairs and check that thing out. Yeah. Oh wow, so there's a lot of space, oh okay. So this is the new bedroom. We have a little weird spot for the door though, because. Will the door be on the steps or the door will be here? Uh, I think actually we decided to do the door right here. We're going to do a pocket door that slides into that right there. Oh. Because we have, we do have the angled ceilings right here. You know, you could have done a door this way, but then it would kind of open into have nothing and it'd be weird. The door, the door would be clipped. However, if we just do a pocket door right into there, that okay. solves all those problems. Okay. Then what happens to the step? Just got to remember to. We'll have a, we'll have a little step there. Now stub your toe or do we gradually make it go up? No. Okay. People get used to having What's the floor carpet up here? Carpet. Carpet, okay. So the other issue though is closet space when you have these angled ceilings. Yes. So what I did, <clears throat> it is a little outside of the bedroom, but I made that whole area over there. Oh, beautiful. Into okay. a closet. It'll be like one lower rod, but enough, you know, won't, won't be great for dresses or long pants, but you know, for shirts. So it, there's enough room in here to actually walk in and walk all the way down and have the rod go all the way down. Okay. So that's a nice, big, huge walk-in okay. closet. We are not going to build a knee wall over here. No. Nah. We're just gonna have it go down so it gives the appearance of it being bigger. Okay. We did put in the four foot knee walls in the bedroom so that there's room to put furniture and have a bed. And Got all the venting here so it all, yep. the, so it all breathes correctly. Yep, we'll have access panels to Master the attic bath. area. This is all brand new as well. So this I drew out on paper to scale. We've got a double vanity going in there, um, a shower. This is gonna be another closet with bifold doors. Oh, so you have multiple closets. Yep. Okay. This is gonna be a linen closet. Okay. And then that's the toilet. Just compartmentalize a little yep. bit. Yeah, well, it's not gonna have a door on it. Right. But it's okay. kind of private. Well, it's coming together nice. Yeah. Well, this house looks great. I mean, we're, we're definitely making progress. I think that the change in the kitchen was a smart move. I do too. That, that's going to add a lot to it. So we add, by doing this too, we added what? Two, three hundred square feet up here, right to the house. So this is big. Oh, more than this, that, I think. Yeah, maybe. We added a lot of value. Stairs a little steep, but I think it's coming out really, really nice. Yeah, but we'll put a nice railing on here. Yep. You know, it'll look great when it's done. Will there just be a wall there because of the door? Yeah. Okay, so it won't just be open when you come up here. No, the wall is going to go right here. Okay. Got it. And then there'll be a railing right there. What a great master bedroom though. Oh my goodness. Look, it's coming right out of the ground. There must have been a windstorm here. That doesn't, it, I don't remember that being knocked over before, do I you? I don't either. I mean, we cut branches off of it. Look it. That came right out of the ground. Look, you can see the roots. Ah, uh, the joys of doing renovations. There's always some surprise that comes up. Look at that. That's gonna, we're gonna have to cut that down. So it's leaning on the other tree and it's going right to our, towards our neighbor's house. Yeah. That's not a good thing. Like we need to jump on that like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, that could go any minute and take that shed right out. I don't know what's in that shed. But that could take that out in a heartbeat. Uh, More deer heads. Poor thing. Hey buddy. He didn't hurt anybody. You never will again, that's for sure. 
Wow. That yeah, tree, that tree's got to go. Gotta go. Like, I've got to call Neil right away and tell him. Yeah, we got to make sure he knows because that those other trees are growing right up next to it, which it's not the end of the world, but so here's the trouble. So that's going to, boy, it's hot out here today. It's going to cost, you know, probably a thousand bucks to get rid of that. Yep. Thousand so, bucks that wasn't in our budget. No. And we're already way, way over budget from time just because of the COVID shutdown. So now we got to eat that. So part of renovations is you do try and figure in some extra budget money because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. You never know. And like, here's this is crazy, right? This blows over. Now you might say, well, call your insurance company. You can, but during renovation, if you if you start claiming every little problem during a renovation, then your insurance gets jacked up. Yeah, my this my deductible or deductible is higher than the cost of the tree, so it just wouldn't make any sense. So that's just some things that happen. That's part of the game. It's a risk reward business that we're in. So. Sometimes trees blow in your house, and sometimes they don't. Thankfully, Hopefully. we've got enough room in this house that a, should be okay. a problem like that isn't going to affect yeah. us too much. But All right. If you remember correctly, this was one solid wall here with windows in it because it was a porch. So there was no door here. The only door in the house was a door on the side of the porch. And Amber decided to put the door there, which was a brilliant idea. I'm not so sure it wasn't my idea. I'll give it to her, though. He so. likes taking credit for everybody else's ideas. So anyways, but it was... Uh, a great move because now it's going to be like a real home. So what's all the new, what color is going to be? Uh, I believe I picked a light gray side. A light gray? It's yeah. going to look beautiful. So, all right. Well, we hope this house has about another six weeks, four to six weeks. Yeah, I'm hoping more on the four side. We're hoping the four side. So we, again, now the coronavirus is, the restrictions are being lifted finally. However, we're having a problem with supplies. Yeah, that's the next problem, Because right? a lot of the distributors were also shut down. So the supplies going to the Home Depot and the Lowe's and all of those kind of stores are very slim pickings. So how are we going to deal with that? We should probably talk about that. How, how are we going to deal with that? On a case by case basis, like for example, interior doors are almost gone and there's, I, I talked to the girl at Home Depot and there's a 12 week um, backup on those. On doors. On interior doors. So we'll have to get creative wow. and, and go to some other sources possibly. Different sources, different, uh... Yeah, smaller mom pop hardware kind of place. So maybe you have to order them in someplace yeah. or order custom doors somewhere. Maybe we order from smaller towns if they right. don't have them around, have them shipped in. Oh, this business shut down has caused so many problems that you just can't fathom. I think we're just starting to see the problems. She told me sheetrock was next. Sheetrock's gonna so be next. So we should make sure. Well, we do have all the sheetrock in here, I think, for that. But yeah. But yeah. But nonetheless, that's still right. It's gonna start. Our other jobs are gonna be. And, and then who knows how that trickle effect is going to go on because now as construction is opening back up and everybody else is also behind, you know, there's going to be kind of this mad dash to, to buy I everything. I don't think they ever gave a thought to the aftermath of shutting businesses down for several months. They I don't just think never, they cared. They didn't, no, I don't think they cared either, but I think it's, yeah, whole different discussion for a whole different video, so you can watch our other videos to see that. But anyways, we are done with this for now, and you'll be seeing this, the finished product when we come back, so another home flipping adventure under our belts. We'll see you in the next one.